Thanks for joining us here on Cron On. I'm Noelle Bello. Mia Bonta now officially represents Oakland, Alameda, and San Leandro in the State Assembly. Bonta was sworn in around 11 o'clock this morning. She joins us now to talk about her priorities for the East Bay. Uh, Assemblywoman Bonta, thank you so much for taking some time to chat with us. Uh, congratulations to you. How does it feel to be taking on this new title and job? Thank you so much for having me. It feels wonderful to be able to, after a long uh, campaign, uh, be able to stand together today with uh, members of the assembly, uh, my family, and so many supporters to be ushered into an, a, this esteemed role. I'm, I'm super grateful. Uh, you were sworn in there by State Superintendent Tony Thurmond. Congresswoman Barbara Lee was on hand as well. Um, she actually said representation matters when talking about you. What does that mean to you as you take on this role? It means that uh, this seat and the State Assembly hasn't seen uh, a black woman, certainly a black Latina woman, uh, in office uh, representing any part of Northern California since the California, since since uh, Representative Barbara Lee. Uh, mm -hmm. It means that uh, we will have a strong voice that will ensure that we have the ability to see uh, many perspectives around the issues that are so critical to our district, Oakland, Alameda, and San Leandro, and to the broader state of California. Uh, your husband, as we saw in the video there, he was there with you. Your husband, Rob Bonta, he formally held uh, this seat. He, I know, pushed for the end of for-profit prisons while he was in this role, uh, ending cash bail. What are your top priorities for the East Bay communities that you now represent? I think in our district in particular, we need to ensure that we're focused on our most urgent needs right now, certainly focusing on COVID relief and recovery uh, in an equitable way, uh, ensuring that we're addressing our issues related to homelessness and affordable housing in this district is absolutely critical. Uh, we're at a tipping point right now as it relates to climate action, and there is an expectation and a mandate from our district to ensure that our approaches to climate adaptation really consider uh, a lens around equity and, uh, and equitable uh, climate action justice uh, and to ensure that uh, in this moment right now our students and our teachers and our educators uh, and our working people have the ability to have a clear path to be able to uh, sustain themselves during this critical time. So immediately I want to ensure that this this state legislature is focused on um, on extending the eviction moratorium is something that I hope that we will get to consider uh, and ensure that we can just be a strong, absolutely criminal justice reform and extension of the work that was uh, was started by uh, the former assembly member, who is also my partner in life and partner in services, also going to be a critical priority for me as well. Uh, you mentioned uh, extending eviction uh, moratorium. A, a lot of times when I hear uh, talk of this, obviously for renters, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, folks wonder well, how, what type of help are landlords getting when it comes to this? What's your take on that? I think, uh, you know, many mom and pop uh, landlords in particular uh, need to make sure that they have the ability to stay uh, in the state to be able to stay in their homes as well. And so I think uh, ensuring that we're providing supports to uh, those mom and pop uh, landlords who, you know, have all of their assets in in their home, who have been able to support multi-unit housing to ensure that we can have fewer people displaced, also need to have consideration as well. And so I'm I'm going to be looking forward to working with our small business owners, our our, our small landlords, our mom and pops as well as our tenants and our renters to ensure that we have uh, legislation that uh, supports us in, in this critical moment as we still face down the impacts of COVID-19. Definitely. I know that um, you have a couple of kids. I, I know that you're a family woman, obviously. Uh, was this something you always saw yourself doing? I've always seen myself as somebody who is uh, going to serve with purpose. And that's taken many different forms over the years. I've been thankful to be an advocate for children and families, uh, to sit on the on the school board in Alameda Unified for the last several years, uh, and certainly uh, the idea of ensuring that we have the ability to impact uh, with our time, our most precious gift, 
uh, is something that I've always considered something that I can do. Um, did I imagine that one day I would be sitting here in, in the California State Legislature in the Capitol? Uh, that wasn't a part of my vision, but uh, <laughs> certainly became a part of it these last six months uh, and knowing the kind of leaders and activists and uh, supporters and people who have come together to lift me up uh, to ensure that I would be able to be here has been wonderful, including Congresswoman Lee, uh, so many of our uh, local leaders, um, uh, certainly uh, Superintendent, uh, State Superintendent Tony Thurmond, uh, Treasurer Fiona Ma, uh, many of the legislators here. So at some point when people start seeing you in a particular way, um, you are able to start seeing yourself as that as well. So I'm thankful for that support. Well, we look forward to see what types of changes and, and moves you're going to be making here as Assemblywoman uh, for those East Bay communities. Anything else you want uh, the folks that you're now representing to know about you? I want to make sure that people that I'm representing know that my door is always open, that we fought hard to make sure that we have the representation that this district of Oakland, Alameda, and San Leandro 18th District of the Assembly deserves. And I have said it before, uh, and I will continue to say it, that uh, we have the ability to make sure our voices roar at the most critical time right now for our state. And I'm so proud and honored to be representing you uh, and, uh, and to be a partner with you and to make sure that our voices roar collectively here in the California State Legislature. East Bay Assemblywoman Mia Bonta, thank you so much for joining us and congratulations once again. Thanks so much.